Hey guys, wanted to show you the uh, current state of my aquarium. Um, everything's doing pretty good. Uh, I've got some grass that I put down here. Um, just a lot of different plants. I actually don't know all the names yet or have them memorized. Um, I've got uh, a sponge filter here which is uh, kind of a DIY uh, water bottle with some um, clay balls that I use for the orchids and some lava rock. Um, and then I've got a pump here that pumps it over to a little hydroponic setup, which right now has some uh, wandering Jew and um, buckwheat. Um, I chose buckwheat just because it's the fastest plant that I know um, that I have uh, available. So uh, hopefully that'll absorb some of the nitrates that get produ gets produced um, by fish and stuff. Um, and this light right here is like a $20 light from Amazon. Um, it's like a 50 watt LED, so super bright. Um, for aquariums and uh, and pretty cheap um, and then you might be able to hear this kind of snapping sound almost and what that is is actually um, yeast that's fermenting sugar and producing CO2 that's going down into this tube and um, the end of that is near a submersible pump that picks up that CO2 and then spits it out. And it's what's making this kind of bubbling that you can see, like, it kind of looks like um, Sprite, almost, you know, some sort of like soda water where there's these tiny bubbles all over the place. And that's all um, partially dissolved CO2. Um... And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, water is not very good at uh, having dissolved CO2. So normally for most plants, um, CO2 that we have in the air is just fine. But for aquarium plants, CO2 is quite low um, and can be a limiting factor. So adding CO2 in this way can really help. And uh, you can kind of tell there's like this... Uh, oop, this moss right here and some of the other plants you can see a little bit that it's kind of got like this white um, going on with it and what that is is the reflection of the light onto the bubbles which are these oxygen bubbles and that's called purling and that means that there's a lot of CO2 a lot of nutrients and so the plants are able to produce an excess amount of oxygen so that the oxygen is actually um, purling or kind of developing a bubble around the plant. Um, I've also got some snails, uh, kind of uh, hitchhiker snails, you could say. But uh, hey, you know, they're eating the algae and uh, it's the only thing I got in the tank right now. Um, so they're kind of cool. Um, a lot of people say, hey, why don't you have fish or something in here? Um, right now the tank is cycling and what that means is um, a completely sterile tank will not be able to handle fish waste which is mostly ammonia um, and the ammonia level will build up if I just filled up an empty tank put a fish in there uh, it might die um, and that's because we need bacteria to convert the ammonia into nitrite um, which is also still toxic and then eventually that nitrite gets converted into nitrate um, That nitrate is something that the plants will consume and I've actually gotten um, the nitrate to be lowered a little bit by Introducing the co2 so that the plants are actually using it up. I believe So yeah, that's kind of the current state. It's a fun project um, And very soon I'll be adding some uh, shrimp I believe. So, just wanted to give you the update. See you later.